The world around us is constantly changing and evolving. Here in the UK, we face new and different challenges every day. Global issues from population growth to economic uncertainty to climate change will affect us for generations to come. How we plan now for the future needs vision from both our politicians and business leaders. Both are essential in driving innovation and growth. One company that is addressing the challenges faced by the UK is Siemens. I'm here at The Crystal, a Siemens initiative that's exploring how we can create a better future for our cities and the people who live in them. It's just one example of the many projects Siemens has been investing in throughout the UK. So let's take a look at how and why Siemens is helping to address the challenges that face us as a nation. Our cities are the economic engines of the country. But more people living in cities means more transport, more energy, more water and more waste, putting increasing pressure on already stretched resources. The challenge we face is how to keep our cities running, but also increase the quality of life for us all. Siemens, as the world's leading engineering company, believes the answer is efficiency through innovation and expertise. So, for example, they're creating more efficient trains, sophisticated traffic management systems to keep our roads moving, and advanced building designs that use energy intelligently. However, even with smarter energy use, we're still going to need to generate more power as our cities grow. Projects like this tidal energy scheme can help provide the answer. The UK has some of the largest tidal ranges in the world and Siemens is finding ways to plug into that rich energy source. The rise and fall of tides happens twice a day, every day, and it can be forecast for years ahead, which gives us greater control over the energy production. Unfortunately, we can't just rely on renewable energy. We need to create an energy matrix of renewable power, energy efficiency and more efficient use of traditional power plants. An intelligent energy matrix will ensure a secure and affordable energy supply while reducing the environmental impact. So just in the way that energy generation, distribution and use is changing, we also need to change the makeup of the economy to move away from an over-reliance on the financial sector and put a greater emphasis on UK manufacturing. Siemens isn't just concentrating on its own manufacturing, it's also developing technologies to help other UK manufacturers become more competitive. This isn't just about production improvements. Siemens can use advanced software and computer-aided design to virtually simulate and test new products and production lines without the need to physically make a prototype. By investing in more productive and efficient manufacturing, Siemens is playing its part in helping us to rebalance the economy and ultimately to create more jobs. These improvements in manufacturing and efficiency all rely on highly skilled and educated people. Therefore, inspiring young people to consider a career in engineering is essential. And at the heart of Siemens' investment into the UK are its apprenticeships, graduate schemes and the constant retraining of experienced professionals. Like these apprentices who are being trained to work on MRI technology, that detects illnesses early and helps save lives. As their careers progress, these apprentices can become the experts that will help tackle the huge challenges of our ageing population and the increasing pressure on our healthcare system. During this journey, I've seen that with the right innovation and investment in our people, we can improve our cities, create energy more efficiently, make our manufacturers more competitive and make our healthcare sector more effective. Though so what really stood out to me is that through tackling these challenges, we're actually creating jobs. We're growing and diversifying the economy and we're securing our future for generations to come.